It is time for a ReSchools update, the latest on construction projects paid for with your bond dollars. I'm Nick Bull. The bond pays for new schools to be built, but it's also making improvements at every existing school too. At Columbia River, they're adding classrooms. Tara Cox joins us now with more. Tara, they're using this as a learning opportunity for students? That's right, Nick. One of the first steps in construction before building is to test the soil to see what kind of ground they'll be building on. Workers bring in a giant drill to get soil samples, and since they're right next to the science classrooms anyway, they got students involved in the process. In the back parking lot at Columbia River High School, workers are pushing a drill deep below the concrete into the soil below. Thanks to the community's bond dollars, River will be getting a much needed new wing to house its expanding student population. I'm excited because this building's pretty old. I mean, it's an old brick building and the classes are pretty old in the main part. So yeah, new buildings will be nice. But before that wing can be built, engineers need to know what they're building on. The design of the structure itself is driven a lot by the soil profile. And so if we have, for example, a sandy profile or more silty and clay soils that matters, it's, it obviously changes the design if we have a liquefiable condition or shallow groundwater. Lance Lato's company, Columbia West Engineering, is doing the testing, but he's also offering his services in the classroom. It's a really great opportunity to involve the students in an interactive learning experience if they have a chance to see real engineering happening right here on the site on the campus. Lance explains the great Missoula floods and how they shape the landscape of our area. He uses lots of visual aids to keep students engaged and to demonstrate what they're looking for in their testing. And then they head outside to see the drill in action. It's, it's a spinning drill and you got uh, different layers of sediment, would it be? Um, so it digs into the ground and they, they test it, they dig it up. And while Lance's company studies the results, these River students are studying to potentially follow his career path someday. It's important to, I think, to, to encourage more uh, STEM uh, involvement, more uh, students into the science, technology, and engineering and mathematics fields. The uh, world needs more engineers. Once the results are in from the soil testing, design work will begin on the new wing at Columbia River. Of course, that's one of several projects happening across Vancouver right now, with more to come over the next few years. Nick, back to you. Thank you, Tara. And if you want to learn more about bond-related projects in the works for the district, check out the website, vanisd.org slash reschools. You can see what's happening in your neighborhood, plus get updates for current projects and timelines for future projects. The website is updated every time there's a new development, and of course, we will have more video updates on Facebook and YouTube. And of course, you can follow us online on our four different social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Until next time, I'm Nick Cole.